Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a demo and review of the new Fenty Diamond Bomb All Over Veil and the Diamond Milk Gloss. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's just get straight into it. Starting out with the details like usual, the Diamond Bomb All Over Veil is in the shade How Many Carrots? And this is described as a one-of-a-kind diamond dusted highlighter that applies like a 3D glitter veil. It features a unique jelly powder formula that's bouncy and cool to the touch and it melts into the skin like butter. It comes with 8 grams of product and it retails for 56 Australian dollars from the Sephora website. Now, I was a little unsure about this product because it is literally straight up glitter and I'm not usually into highlighters like that. But when I saw it being applied in some YouTube videos, I instantly fell in love because it just looked so wet and glossy. It was stunning. So when I got my hot little hands on this product, I was actually really surprised when I swatched it that even though it is really glittery, it's not chunky at all. It has a very interesting feel when you swatch it. I've never actually felt a product like this before, but it is incredibly smooth and the glitter is super fine. It has a translucent base, so it's literally suitable for every skin tone. I've watched a bunch of reviews from people with a variety of skin tones and it looks good on everyone. The glitter itself is silver in color, but it doesn't give off that really icy look because it has that translucent base. If you are intrigued by this product but are a little unsure, i definitely go into store and give it a swatch because it is a really unique formula. When it comes to application, I find that a dense brush or your finger works best. I also think that you only need a little bit of product, especially if you're wearing it on a day-to-day -day basis. It can be quite easy to go over the top. But with that being said, if I was going out or just wanted to be extra, I would definitely use a heavier hand and layer this on to get that really beautiful shimmery finish. I do have one little thing that kind of annoys me about this product though, and it's that color transfers onto the actual product. So you can see here in my compact that it has some foundation color to it from dipping back in with my brush. It doesn't affect the way it applies or the shade of it at all. It's just a little bit annoying because it doesn't look as pretty, you know. I think that this is a great all round product because it can be used for more glam looks and it can also be used for more natural looks, especially if you really like that wet, glossy looking skin. You can also use it on your body or on your eyelids. So it's really great value for money because you can get so many uses from the one product. All right, onto the demo now so you can see how it applies under my studio lights and then I'll pop outside and get a clip of what it looks like in the direct sun. All right, so one side I'm going to use a brush. This is the Sigma F03 highlighting brush. And then the other side I'll use my finger so you can see how they apply. So you can see there, I think this I think the camera struggles to pick it up a bit, so I'm just going to pop my flash onto it. Is that better? Oh, I can see it in my mirror. It's like, oh, I just don't know if the camera is picking it up as well. There we go. I feel like you can see it better with my finger. I just prefer the brush to like blend it out better. Okay, that side is popping. <laughs> so I'll just hold my flash up to that side as well. See how it just looks really glossy and wet? Ooh. Now I don't like to use this one on my Cupid's bow or on my nose because I just find that it's too glittery. So instead, I'll go in with my Fenty Kilowatt highlighter and just pop that on my Cupid's bow and a little bit down my nose. That one's just a bit more subtle, so I prefer it better in those areas. Okay, so I'm just outside now. My eyes are really sensitive to the sun, so I'm just going to stand in the sun and close my eyes and hopefully get some shots of how it looks. Okay. 
And then we have the Gloss Bomb in the shade Diamond Milk. This is a clear gloss with a silver pearly glitter that is enriched with, is it shea butter or shea butter? You know what I'm talking about. But it makes lips look instantly fuller and smoother. It has a lot of la di da description on the side here, but look, it's a lip gloss. This one retails for 30 Australian dollars and it comes with 9 mils of product. Now the first lip gloss that was released was in the shade Fenty Glow and to be honest it just wasn't my cup of tea. It was described to be a universal shade but I did try out my friends and I didn't like the tone on me. So when I saw that she was releasing this transparent shade I was like give it to me. The price tag of $30 did have me a little eh, but now that I've tried it out I definitely think it's worth it. It has the most smooth and creamy texture. It just feels so moisturizing on the lips. And the glitter is really fine, so it doesn't look too unnatural or over the top on the lips. It is a thicker gloss, but it's not sticky at all. And you don't get that gross inner corner buildup thing that goes on with some lip glosses. I think that it looks really great on its own or over the top of other lipsticks. And it has a really nice peach vanilla scent. I also really love the Bigger Wand. It pulls out just the right amount of product and it feels really nice to apply. For reference, I'll show you what it looks like compared to one of the ColourPop Gloss Wands. Alright, let me show you the demo of the lip gloss. Firstly, I'm just going to line my lips with the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Nude Whisper. Alright, well that is my review of the new Fenty products. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know down below what you think of these products and if you're going to be picking them up or not. If you aren't already, then I'd love if you'd check out my channel and hopefully subscribe. I hope that you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!